Good morning, everyone. We are here in VU TV's studio. My name is Alexa Minton, and I am joined here by a few other meteorologists in order to help cover today's live storm coverage. We have had quite the bit of snowfall already in the Valparaiso area, logging 7.1 inches. And guys, this storm is going to just keep going. I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to the weather wall to get a better look at the radar. Colton? Thanks, Alexa. You can see we have a very impressive storm system occurring across the area right now. It's very expansive, and if we zoom in on the Valparaiso region, you can see that we have plenty of snowfall occurring right now, and the heaviest is just moving out of the area. So if we go to the reflectivity, you can see the heaviest snow is just to the east of us. We're still getting snow, and we'll still get snow over the next several hours, but the heaviest with the Lower visibility is moving out of the area, but the snow will continue over the next several hours. Back to you, Alexa. Thank you so much, Colton. We promise to be keeping up with live coverage. For those of you who are joining us here on Facebook Live, I would really appreciate if you guys can go ahead and send in any questions you guys have. We will be able to answer those live. I have my laptop here ready to go to answer your questions. Again, as I mentioned, we have 7.1 inches of heavy Valpo snowfall at the moment in time. We are having heavy snowfall rates with blizzard-like conditions with our visibility almost next to none. I think we're going to go ahead and throw it out. We have a live look outside with a meteor meteorologist Alan Marvel. I'm hearing that he's not quite ready at the moment, so we'll wait a couple more seconds to get him ready to go. However, I'll keep talking about the areas that have a snowfall count at the moment in time. We have temperatures in the mid to low 20s, and that will continue throughout the day today. And snowfall in the Valparaiso area will be up to 9 inches by midnight. After midnight, our snowfall will continue to decrease throughout the day. However, our surrounding areas are going to just continue to get bombarded with snowfall. We're having areas up to 10, 11 inches. And while our GFS models did predict that we are going to have up to 15 inches, we're watching the storm move at a rapid rate sweeping across the Midwest. For those of you who are unaware of a specific wind, winter storm protocol and how to understand winter storm watches, we have a winter storm warning at the moment in time for Porter, Lake, Il Indiana, Newton, Jasper, Benton, Kankakee, Livingston, Iroquois, Ford counties until 6 p.m. today. By being under a winter storm warning, that means you guys need to stay safe, stay inside. The visibility is very low, next to none. And uh, we will be showing you that in just a minute with our live look. We already have a travel advisory out for specific counties in the Valparaiso area, specifically Pulaski County. In addition, for travel watches for Lake, Porter, Newton, Jasper, Benton, and Laporte counties. I'm going to go ahead and throw it back over to Colton at the weather wall so you guys can kind of see just this storm that swept across. It started last night around midnight. And Colton, can you kind of tell us where it looks like it's going to be headed and where it's going? Colton, what are we looking at? Yeah, Alexa, the storm is moving to the east, northeast, but we still have plenty of snow cover on the way. You can see we have a huge area of snow moving to the east. The heaviest snow, which is indicated over here, which is over South Bend right now, and also Plymouth, that will continue to move to the east. So we're done with the very heavy snowfall rates, but we still will have plenty of snow on the way. So if we take a look currently across Valpo, you can see this live camera is so snow covered and ice covered that it's actually hard to see out of it. But you can tell that the visibility is very poor across the area. And then as we look at our current winter weather alerts, like Alexa me mentioned, we are in a winter storm warning for Porter County and areas all the way to the south and also to the west and to the northeast of us. And you can see even way off to the northwest, there's actually a wind chill advisory right now. So cold air is definitely spilling into the area as we speak. And our, speaking of the cold air, we are sitting in the mid-20s right now, even colder off to the northwest, sitting at 14 degrees right now in DeKalb, and a little bit warmer as you head to the southeast. And then our current temperatures nationally, you can see we have a ginormous trough invading the central U.S. and also even out to the west. And you can see it's negative 4 degrees in Billings, Montana. So this very cold air is continuing to spill in the area. And like yesterday, you might remember we were in the 40s, actually. As that warmer air is starting to leave the area, we're replacing that with cold air. And when those air masses clash, you definitely get lots of snowfall occurring, which is why we're seeing the heavy snowfall rates we are seeing right now. And it sounds like Alan is ready for our live weather outside, so I'll be sending it to Alexa first. 
Thank you, Colton. We're going to take another look outside for the live weather. Alan, we want to know how it's looking out there. Can you give us any insight? Good morning, Valpo. Currently outside, you can see that it is still snowing and it is currently, let's take a look real quick. We have had up to around so far outside and the snow does not seem to be stopping. We snow hills, so make sure you enjoy your snow day. Make sure you wear the correct weather gear and that you stay safe today. All right, it seems that we're having some glitches and stuff at the moment with Alan, but I just seeing that snowfall come down, ladies and gentlemen, we see lots of snow still in the Valparaiso and more is yet to come. But the snow is not the only thing we are concerned about at this moment in time. We're also concerned about wind chill. For our viewers that do not quite understand what we're talking about when we keep referencing this intense wind chill, wind chill temperature is how cold you're going to feel when you're outside. It might not necessarily be the actual temperature, but it due to winds and high snowfall and all sorts of outdoor factors. This is what it'll feel like when you're outside. I'm going to send it over to Colton to talk a little bit more about our current wind chill and why it's such a concern. Yeah, Alexa brings up a good point. You can see that it feels like 14 degrees in Valpo, even though the actual temperature is in the mid 20s right now. And it feels even colder out to the northwest, negative three degrees in DeKalb, what it feels like outside. So along with the blowing snow, very poor visibility, it is also very cold. So make sure you grab a jacket before you head outside. And then our future temperature shows us cooling down into the low 20s tonight by 10 p.m. this evening. And we'll only stay around 20 degrees throughout the day tomorrow. So a very cold day is expected along with the snow, especially to the south of us. And then by the time we get into Friday, you can see Friday morning at 7.30, we'll be sitting around 15 degrees. So the rest of the week will be very cold across the region. But you can see, thanks to Lake Michigan, we'll have a north-northeast wind. Valpo, Lansing, Gary will be relatively warmer than the surrounding areas, thanks to the warmer air coming off of Lake Michigan. But it still will be cold for the remainder of the week. And then by 7.30 p.m. on Friday, we'll be sitting around 20 degrees. Now, the future radar shows plenty of snow will be continuing. This is at 2 p.m., and you can see widespread snow is falling across northwest Indiana with lighter amounts off to the northwest, but it will still be snowing across the general region. And that will continue at 5 o'clock around dinner time. We'll have heavy snow falling still, so we have several hours of more snow to accumulate over the next hours. And then by 10 p.m., you can see lighter snow is expected as this first round of snow moves out of the area. But then we'll have additional snow probably throughout the day on Thursday, especially to the south of us. But the storm will maybe make its way up into the Valpo region. But today will definitely be the worst of the two. So make sure you continue to watch the radar and stay attuned with any of the snow. Back to you, Alexa. Thank you, Colton. I want to share a little bit more about the Northwest Indiana and Chicago areas forecast discussion. So forecast discussions occur when there are severe weather events or even every day to day areas. So as we are looking at this current forecast discussion, we can gain insight onto what the area is going to be at. I'm going to touch on a couple points and then we'll throw it out to Alan in a second. We're going to briefly talk about we have moderate to heavy snow, not only at this moment, but it's about east of I-39 and south of I-90. So if you're in that area, please get off the roads. It is very hard to see at the moment. Plows are coming through, but it's not necessarily able to be cleared off because of that heavy snowfall that just continues to batter the roads. In addition to that, we have over five inches in downtown Chicago area, near 10 inches across areas of South I-80, stretching over into Indiana. So Chicago might not have been hit as, hit as hard as our area. However, our area at the moment, we are sitting at 7.1 inches but just like Colton said, that snow is not going to stop until around the evening hours tonight. We're going to see this heavy snow band continue throughout the day and start to sweep across the rest of the Midwest, giving them all substantial snowfall as we head throughout the area. I think we're going to take a live look out to Alan at the moment. Alan, how's it going out there? Currently, guys, outside, we can see that there are snow plows going around campus, but the roads and sidewalk conditions are still kind of horrendous, so I would make
recommend having a fun snow day, getting outside and making some snow angels. If we currently take a look, we can see that the snow is kind of powdery, but you can still make a couple of snowballs out of it so you can get outside and have a snowball fight with some of your friends. But make sure you are staying safe and wear gloves and wear hats and wear thick jackets and winter boots. If you guys do most buildings are locked today. And then we also have this pretty snow building up on all the trees today. If we we can see it's going to look like probably a quite a few days we're going to have snow on campus. So make sure that you get out and enjoy this winter weather. And if you are traveling, make sure to stay safe and take any Everyone enjoy your snow day and get out and play some snow football and have some snow f f uh, snowball fights. Back to you, Alexa. Thank you, Alan, and we hope you're going to stay warm out there. I know you're all bundled up, but we want to make sure everyone's staying safe today in this crazy winter storm that has just been sweeping throughout the Valparaiso area. I want to touch on a couple more things that are happening in the area. Like we said, we mentioned there are current winter storm warnings and winter storm watches for the area. Winter storm warnings at the moment are for Porter, Lake, Newton, Jasper, Benton, Kankakee, Livingston, Iroquois, and Ford counties. That winter storm warning will be in effect until 6 p.m. tonight, but that doesn't mean that the snow is going to stop around 6 p.m. That snow is just going to continue on. We see this snow kind of being pushed at a rapid rate across the Midwest, and that could be due to wind speeds. We are watching the winds just actively push the storm quickly, quickly across the Midwest, much faster than predicted for most of the area. We are going to throw it over to Colton on the weather wall to talk about these drastic wind speeds. Colton, what's, lo what's it looking like right now? Thanks, Alexa. Yeah, you can see we have plenty of wind outside right now. Gary is seeing a sustained wind gust at 22 miles per hour. Here in Valpo, we're sitting at a sustained wind of 14 and then 20 miles per hour in Knox. So, if you're wondering what a blizzard is, this isn't quite a blizzard. You need winds of 35 miles per hour for three consecutive hours to have a blizzard, but it's still a very impressive winter sto storm, no doubt. And then current wind gusts, you can see it's gusting up to 33 in Gary, probably thanks to the less friction over Lake Michigan, and then 26 gusting up here in Valpo, so a pretty breezy day along with that snow. So visibility is very bad, so you have to travel. Definitely be cautious and take it very slow. In your future wind gust show, it only will get gustier throughout the rest of the evening. This is at 2.30 this afternoon. You can see it's gusting up to 38 miles per hour in Lansing and also Gary, Indiana. And you can see it will only continue into the overnight hours. This is 8.15 p.m. and will still gust over 30 miles per hour. And then by the time we get into Thursday morning, you can see sitting around 30 miles per hour gusting up still. So as the snow arrives tomorrow with the second round, we'll still have fairly gusty winds. And then as that continues throughout the day on Thursday and going into Friday, the winds will start to die down finally as that storm finally exits the area. And your future snowfall, this is what people are really interested about. You can see the European model gives us an additional 4.3 inches of snow for the remainder of the snowstorm. So this accounts for the rest of the snow today and also the snow for tomorrow. However, our European or our American model, the GFS, shows us getting around 5.8 inches of additional snow, maybe even around 6 inches. So I think anywhere from 4 to maybe even 7 inches of snow is expected over the next few hours. And then you can see the NAM model also gives us 6.5 inches of snow for the remainder of the storm with heavier amounts further to the south. So for the remainder of the storm, we'll likely see around 6 inches of snow, I think. So definitely make sure you have the shovels ready because we'll have plenty more snow on the way. Back to you, Alexa. Thank you again, Colton, for that constant update. Here at VUTV News, we are going to give you constant live coverage of this storm that is sweeping across the Midwest. Colton, you mentioned that visibility is down substantially, and I'd like to touch on that because we are having areas and roads affected, especially major highways in northwest Indiana. At the moment, there's traffic stuck on I-57 at the Dan Ryan due to vehicles getting actively stuck and unable to move forward in the snow. In addition to that, you have several semis that are stalled inbound on the Dan Ryan at the Stevenson exit. On I-80, you have multiple crashes on both east and westbound sides, specifically in Joliet, Illinois. In addition to that, on the I-80 westbound at exit to ramp I-57, you have it completely shut down for the I-57 southbound exit due to an active accident that's happened. 
Finally, one more traffic update we have in the southbound I-65 Lowell in Indiana blocked due to another crash. We are seeing a lot of this lake effect in addition kind of come down and there's a chance for more lake effect coming through the area as we head into the evening hours tonight, guys. And we will watch um, this lake effect sweep in and kind of fuel this storm as we carry on to the evening hours. The areas that have the chances of getting affected by this lake effect could be affected even as late into tomorrow evening. Primary targets of this potential snowfall appear to be in Lake County, Illinois and Cook County, Illinois, possibly parts of DuPage, Will and Lake Counties in Indiana receiving flurries as well. There's a chance of possible snow accumulations two to five in inches in Illinois for those lakeside residents on top of this already substantial snowfall that we're seeing. Colton mentioned that we might have about six inches adding up throughout the evening tonight in addition to the 7.1 inches we already have reported here in Valparaiso, totaling for quite the substantial snowfall in the area. If we are looking at our current area forecast mesoscale discussion from northwest Chicago, Illinois, we can see that we're having moderate to heavy snowfall continue throughout out this morning today into the evening hours, specifically east of I-39 and south of I-90. We have over five inches in downtown Chicago and we have 10 inches across areas south of I-80. We already are at, we, as we mentioned, at 7.1 in the Valparaiso area, but that number is just going to keep climbing and climbing as we see the snowfall not stop. I'm going to go ahead and throw it back over to Colton on the weather wall to talk a little bit more about our reflectivity and that snowfall that we just see constantly coming down. Colton. Yeah, Alexa, the reflectivity is pretty high, especially just to the east of us. So if you're in Fort Wayne or any area around there, you'll definitely have heavy snowfall rates with visibility possibly below a quarter mile. So if you're driving, take it very slow because visibility is very bad. But here in Valpo, the heaviest snow is just moving off to the east of us. But that doesn't mean we're done with the snow. We still have several hours of snow accumulation expected. And you can see it goes way off to the west by Davenport. So we'll still have that whole area to cover over the next several hours. And our future radar shows that well. But before we get to that, our live look shows the snow is still coming down in Valpo. And it's pretty heavily as well. And then our future radar shows that we will be seeing the snow coming. <laughs> the future radar shows that we will have the snow continuing at 2 p.m. You can see the heavy snow will not be stopping, unfortunately, if you don't like the snow. And then as we get into the dinner time hour and rush hour, the heavy snow will still be falling across northwest Indiana. So definitely pay attention to the forecast over the next several hours. However, in the Chicago area during rush hour, the heavier snow will probably be out of the area by then. So that's good news. But here in northwest Indiana, we'll still have the heavy snowfall rates continuing over the next several hours. And then by 10 p.m., that's when we'll start to see the snow die down, thankfully, until our second round of snow will arrive throughout the day tomorrow. Back to you, Alexa. Thank you, Colton, for that update. He mentioned that there's quite a bit of snowfall in the area, and we're going to watch this continue to go down, but we're going to take another look at our live look outside with Alan Marvel. Alan, how is it going out there? How does that snow just keep coming down, and do you think we'll get any good snowballs with this snow? Alan, what's it look like? Hi guys, as you can see looking across campus, as we take a walk, we can see that it is pretty quiet today out on campus. No one is out walking around. They're all usually staying in their residence halls today, enjoying the warmness inside the residence halls. Just a few facts for you guys to let you know that all activities are campus. Dining option that is open on campus today head to Founders and if you need to get into any building to do any homework or get any questions answered always make sure to bring your one card because most buildings are locked today and if you have to get out please stay safe guys. Thank you, Alan, for that update. I know our footage sometime out there can be a little glitchy, but we are doing our best to provide you with the best coverage for this winter storm that just keeps coming down. I'm going to touch on again the areas that are currently under winter storm warnings. At the moment in time, we have winter storm warnings for DuPage, LaSalle, Kendall, Grundy, Central Su and Southern Cook, Will Counties until 6 p.m. tonight. In addition with 
winter storm warnings for Porter, Lake, Indiana, Newton, Jasper, Benton, Kankakee, Livingston, Iroquois, and Ford counties until 6 p.m. on Thursday. Guys, the snow is not going to stop coming down, and we will continue to watch the snowfall increase throughout the day. We, as I mentioned before, we already have five inches of snowfall in downtown Chicago, where we have 7.1 inches of snowfall in the Valparaiso area. We are watching the snow not only sweep across northwest Indiana at the moment in time, but it will continue on over even into areas like Ohio. Ohio will be, will be swept earlier um, in the evening tonight with substantial snowfall getting up to even eight or nine inches in southern Ohio and areas like that don't necessarily see snow that often. We're going to watch this snow kind of sweep and die over the Appalachian Mountains and kind of shift into a little bit more rain um, as projected for this evening. So we will see substantial amounts of storm coverage and precipitation, but it's not just that storm coverage that we're concerned about. Yesterday we had very high temperatures in the Valparaiso area. We were even up to 49 degrees and even areas Areas over in Ohio were up to around the 50s, but that temperature is going to keep dropping, especially with the help of this storm. I'm going to go ahead and throw over to Colton Woods on the weather wall to talk a little bit about what our temperatures are going to look like this evening and as we head into the next week. Colton. Thanks, Alexa. You can see that tonight we're expecting a low of 17 degrees, so definitely bundle up as you head out for this evening if you have any dinner plans. But if you are heading out, make sure you take it slow on the roads because snow will continue over the next several hours, especially earlier in this evening. And then by tomorrow, we'll have snow continuing, especially in the later afternoon hours with a high of 20 degrees. But most of the snow tomorrow will be staying further to the south of us. So today is definitely the worst day out of the two. And then you can see our seven day forecast shows we will finally start to get clear on the day on Friday with a high of 19, but it will get very cold beginning Thursday night with a low of only five degrees. And we'll stay in the single digits for lows Friday night going into Saturday, but thankfully plenty of sunshine will be on the way for this weekend. So you'll have plenty of time to dig out and get the snow off of your driveway and also sidewalks. And it looks like a very dry stretch of weather is expected early next week and also the middle of next week with temperatures slowly warming into the upper 20s and maybe even low 30s by next Wednesday. Back to you, Alexa. Thank you, Colton. I want to touch a little bit on vehicle safety as we see quite the substantial amounts of roads around the northwest Indiana having accidents and crashes and the visibility just being almost next to none. In order to stay safe in areas like this, the first step is to not go on the roads at this time. When you see the words winter storm warning, that means stay inside, folks. It means the snow is going to continue to pile up as we continue throughout the day and it is probably unsafe to drive your vehicle. If it is absolutely necessary to drive your vehicle, it is important that you have an emergency road roadside kit in your car in order to better protect your safety. We touched earlier this month on one of our broadcasts uh, specifically about the things that are required in emergency roadside kits. You can find more information about what should be expected to help protect you from the winter weather in your vehicle on the NWS website or on the NOAA website. In addition to that, we wanna make sure you guys are constantly replenishing items before you go out. Any items that might be in your emergency roadside kit that are out or are on short supply, it's important that you're completely stocked with medications and medical supplies and that your fuel tanks are completely full because as we've seen right now in this area, we're seeing substantial amounts of snowfall cause lots and lots of roadside accidents. I'm going to touch again on these areas that are currently closed in the area. We see that traffic is at completely stuck at I-57 on the Dan Ryan due to vehicles stuck in the snow. In addition to that, we have several semis stalled inbound on Dan Ryan at the Stevenson. We see on I-80 there's already multiple crashes on both eastbound and westbound sides in Joliet, Illinois. And on I-80 westbound exit ramp to I-57, we see that it's completely shut down due to an accident. Accident. It's important if you have to go on the roads today that you are taking into account of these horrible conditions that we see at the moment in time. Like I mentioned, we are already seeing substantial snowfall rates throughout the area. We have heavy snowfall rates near one inch per hour remaining possible throughout the morning today in 
east of I-57. We'll see this light snowfall kind of fade in as our heavy snowfall fades out for the early afternoon, but it will still continue to fall throughout much of the metro area, specifically east of Illinois 47 and into the early afternoon. We'll see this potential for lake effect snow come this evening, and I'd like to go ahead and throw it back to Colton once more to talk about a little bit about that lake effect that has the potential to carry on throughout the evening. Colton? Thanks, Alexa. You bring up a very good point because you can see the Euro model is actually picking up on this potential for lake effect snow. And those areas that will likely see that lake effect snow will be Chicago, especially just south of Chicago, maybe Gary, Indiana, and also Lansing, Illinois. And you can see that lake effect snow will only continue into the overnight hours and going into Thursday. So anywhere in this general region could see some heavier snowfall totals thanks to Lake Michigan. But this area is all the synoptic snow or the system snow that we are seeing currently. Here in Valpo, we likely won't see much lake effect snow, if any, as most of it will be staying to the west. So this is what the Euro model is showing us. We're seeing four inches of snow from this one, but our American model, the GFS, is giving us maybe up to six inches of snow. You can see giving us 6.1 inches for the remainder of the storm with heavier snowfall totals off to the south, 13.3 inches in Fort Wayne. So definitely take that in account if you have to drive to the southeast. And then the NAM model is in a similar boat, giving us six and a half inches of snow over the next couple of days. And then lesser amounts off to the northwest. It's giving Rockford, Rockford barely anything, but definitely pay attention if you're further to the southeast of us because you could definitely see a foot or more additional snow. So back to you, Alexa. Thank you, Colton, for that update. I'm going to touch a little bit more about some driving in winter weather conditions because as we mentioned and as Colton just touched on, this snow will not be stopping throughout the day today. We are watching the snow continue to pile up with again 7.1 inches already recorded in the Valparaiso area. And that snow will only continue to pile up throughout the day as we watch that snowfall continue to sweep throughout the Midwest. Important driving conditions that we need to keep in aware is I, I mentioned that we have emergency supplies kits and we need to make sure that you guys replenish them if necessary. I need you all to bring enough of the following for each person in order for us to stay safe on the roads. Blankets or sleeping bags, rain gear, extra sets of dry clothing, mitten socks, that sort of warm clothing material in case you get trapped in your car as many have already witnessed on I-57 today in the Indiana Chicagoland area. Make sure you bring a cell phone battery, an extra cell phone battery and charger, and make sure that phone is completely charged in order for you to be able to call emergency roadside assistances so that way they can come and contact and rescue you and your loved ones that are in your vehicle. Make sure if you have to head out today, let someone know of your destination and make sure you, the, you notify them when you finally arrive as travel is very dangerous today and in case you lose cell service or your vehicle gets stranded, someone can be out and ready to help you out if needed. You need to also not only only be watching out for this low visibility because of the snow. We need to be ready to watch out for sleet, freezing rain, freezing driddle, and fog that all have the potential of hurting the visibility as we head on. We had a substantial amount of rainfall in the Valparaiso area last night, which only worsened the impact of this storm as we see it continue to just worsen because that rainfall that came down allowed a nice blanket of ice to kind of fall, uh, form over and under the snow. So we watched that all kind of formulate and generate a, quite the nasty environment for both driving conditions and uh, the Valparaiso area today. I'm going to touch on a little bit more about where we have the winter storm warnings before I throw it over to Colton for one last look at our snowfall, but I'm going to touch on our winter storm warnings. At the moment, we still have winter storm warnings active for Porter County, Lake Indiana, Newton, Jasper, Benton, Kankakee, Livingston, Iroquois, and Ford counties. Those counties all have air, um, winter storm warnings in effect until 6 p.m. on Thursday. We additionally have a winter storm warning for DuPage, LaSalle, Kendall, Grundy, Central and Southern Cook, and Will counties until 6 p.m. tonight. There's a travel advisory out for Pulaski County and travel watches out 
out for Lake Porter, Newton, Jasper, Benton and LaPorte counties. I keep mentioning that we have winter storm warnings and just so everyone is on the same page when we say a winter storm warning, we're saying that winter storm conditions are occurring in the next 36 to 48 hours and you need to review your winter storm plans and stay informed about weather conditions. We are seeing heavy snowfall rates near one inch per hour at the moment in the Valparaiso area, specifically around the areas of I-57 throughout the morning today and we will see that heavy snow transition into lighter snow as we head into the evening hours. We do have the chances of more lake effect snow arriving tonight after the snow band already sweeps through us and into the rest of the Midwest. We see the chances of lake effect snow arriving and could affect areas such as Lake County, Illinois, Cook County, Illinois and possibly parts of DuPage, Will and Lake counties. Most areas will be receiving flurries from this continued lake effect, but we will see this snow potentially fade off as we head into the evening hours. I'm going to again touch on the areas that have um, uh, travel advisories, but at the moment we are seeing 1 to 1.5 inches per hour of snowfall, which is quite the substantial amount considering that we have 7.1 inches at the moment in Valparaiso. In addition like that, we have blizzard like conditions with a heavy band that just moved through the area and is headed in the way of Ohio. We see snowfall after uh, the snowfall count after midnight will continue to lower, but we have the chances of that lake effect that I aforementioned. In Portage, Indiana, we already have eight plus inches of snow as of 1030 AM, but we see a varying rate, especially throughout Northwest Indiana. We saw five inches in South Bend, but we see 9.5 in New Lenox, Illinois. We're seeing the Midway Airport already have up to 8.2 inches of snow as of 10 a.m. And the, it's, it is the heaviest snow since February 15th last year, where there was 15.9 inches of snowfall. We're going to see this snow continue throughout the day today. And as I mentioned, we have the chances for lake effect this evening. I'm going to go ahead and throw it over to Colton on the weather wall one last time to talk about what we can expect for this evening before we end our broadcast. Colton. Thank you, Alexa. One last look at the radar. You can see here in Valpo, we have moderate snowfall occurring right now with visibility probably around half a mile. But then the lowest visibility currently is in South Bend and Plymouth where they're seeing an inch to maybe an inch and a half of snow every single hour. And you can see we still have plenty of snow off to our west and that will only continue for the rest of the day. But our live look, you can see visibility is very poor. So once again, if you have to travel outside, definitely take it slow and pay attention to other drivers because that's very important so there's no crashes. But then we also have a winter storm warnings in effect and that will go in continue to stay in effect until Thursday at 6 p.m. So definitely make sure you're inside and safe over the next several hours. Back to you, Alexa. All right, we want to thank everyone for joining in on our broadcast today as we've had live coverage of the winter storm that's sweeping across the Midwest. We're going to touch on one more time at the moment our snowfall totals because we have about 1 to 1.5 inches an hour for the Valparaiso and Chicagoland areas. We see this heavy snowfall just continue to batter down the roads and continue to just dump snow on our area. We have a winter storm warnings for Porter, Lake, Newton, Jasper, Benton, Kankakee, Livingston, Iroquois and Fort counties until 6 p.m. tonight and this snow will just continue to keep coming down. We again want to thank everyone for watching the Valparaiso area. Today we already have Valparaiso classes canceled and it might look like we might get cancellation tomorrow. I want to go ahead and thank Alan uh, Marvel for braving the cold out there and enjoying the snow and kind of giving us updates of a live look of what it looks for us in the Valparaiso area. In addition, I want to thank Colton Woods for helping us out over there on the weather wall, giving us good radar coverage of what we will see in the future as this storm continues to progress. Finally, I want to make sure we thank our crew and staff with Elliot, Connor, Keaton, RJ, Ben, Daniel, and Emmett who have all come here to help us out in order to make sure we give you accurate live coverage. All of these people have braved the snow and here across campus put on their snow boots and hiked across to make sure that we could get into the studio today in order to provide you complete live access and live coverage. Thank you again for joining our broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see you next time on 15 News at 5.